from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Good morning, I'm Dee O'Reilly. Greg D says we're in for a really nice day today. His forecast is on abcactionnews.com and also on our free mobile app. Right now, here are your ABC Action News headlines. Last night at a community conversation aimed at ending violence in St. Pete, an alarming statistic was revealed. Police say every month more than 50 guns are stolen from unlocked cars in the area and they're often used in shootings. Police, advocates and others gathered to talk about a rise in homicides and how to stop the violence. The group said mentorship, mental health services, responsible gun ownership and forgiveness were some of the main keys to addressing the issue. I can see her through her pain and I recognize that and that was horrible for me to recognize that loss and that pain. But I was looking at the bigger picture and the biggest picture is to get that voice out there of my son um, to help anyone that's going through that, that it's okay to forgive not forget, but to forgive. Organizers say they plan to hold more community conversations on this topic in the future. Officials in Northport say they're setting the record straight about some rumors. Last week, a medical examiner identified a set of remains as Brian Laundrie's. Those remains were found in Mayakahatchee Creek Environmental Park on Wednesday. Now, Northport police say they're getting questions about a false report claiming DNA from those remains did not match Brian Laundrie. But the medical examiner says they haven't even done a DNA analysis yet. It was dental records that confirmed the remains as Brian's. Brian was the sole person of interest in the disappearance of his fiancee, Gabby Petito. Her remains were found in Wyoming last month. A discussion about a planned apartment complex in Tarpon Springs got heated last night. It went well past midnight and this morning. Nothing is settled. Commissioners plan to meet again tonight. So here's the issue. Developers want to build a more than 400 unit complex along the Anclet River. It would be built in an area that includes a bald eagle's nest and part of the property includes wetlands. There is organized local opposition to this project. A group called the Concerned Citizens of Tarpon Springs made the case that they're interested. They're an interested party in the case. We'll let you know what commissioners decide on this. Remember, local news is streaming free 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. You'll find that on Roku, Amazon Fire and Apple TV. Just search ABC Action News.